Jetia, this is Makola. Samenegong. Jetia, this is Makola. Samenegong. The only satiric you love and love. The plaintiff is suing the defendant, a mason for destruction of property, breach of contract, and verbal abuse. She is seeking money damages to the tune of 15,000 Ghana cities and an unqualified apology from the defendant. The court is in session. All right. His Lordship, Judge Louise Lamise. Uh, please have your seats. What is the case for today? Your Honor, Agmentum Amori Ad Menus. Obi Fum Kuma Yen Fumunya. Your Honor, if somebody belongs to K, you don't belong to a uh, cat. This man, the defendant, have a long to cut. Your Honor, my client here, beautiful woman, have blamed the case before you. Your Honor, my client here, have built the house. Even this defendant is a missing man who built the house. Your Honor, when he finished build the house, my client said that he wants this thing, war, to war the, 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 the house. And the man said that because the woman don't tell him, he don't add the money to the that this thing already so he said it will take 12,000 before he can war the house. My kind to you say the war he liked it, so he said, Okay, that time my kind have only this thing 9,000. So my kind give the 9,000 to the mine to start. Your honor, every day when my kind come to the, 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 the place that the mines do the work, my kind give the mine money, maybe 200 CD. Because my client too, you have a store. So when you go to the store, the money she, uh, he, he get from the store, he come and give the, the man. Maybe 500, maybe uh, 200, maybe this thing. Your Honor, she have given uh, the man to every day, he take it. That time, the man take the money, he don't say anything. The man finish the war. The man come to my client, say that. You give me 9,000. So, please, the money that I have. Remain, give me. My can say that. Ah. But the money that I've made now, every day when I come to the lesson, I give you some money. He said that, yeah. That money, I've counted uh, that money, is even this thing. 4,000, something, something. So why you come and say that you want more money? The man said that that money, I can't give them, uh, the man. They call him tip. Tip. <laughs> you wanna? The man look at my client and say that the money my client give a step. What a tip! <laughs> so your the, case is the man pass my client back and then break the wall. The wall he built. Yes, the wall that my client want. That my client have given the money to him to build. He go and break him into small small this thing. Okay. So what do you want? Your Honor, let the man pay my client. 50,000 cities and also build the wall again and give my client apology. Okay. So Write so apology letter and give my client. She wants an apology? Yeah. Um, 50,000. And build the wall. And the wall rebuilt? Yeah. Okay. Not the same lesson the man take to, that the man have break. Remove all that one and go and blink the new wall. Okay. Even now, my, my client want to show you this. I'm going to download picture. I'm like a White House. The wall that they have, that one sum is what my client wants. I want to plant it and give it to you. Okay? Okay. Yeah, so that's one type. All right. So, charge this man with wall blinker. I should charge him or you at you? I am charging you. With a war blaker, unlawful war break. Teach this man a lesson. Show the man that you can take your uh, this thing. Chrome this. <laughs> Try anything you say, thank you don't you. listen. Then you go and do what you like. Alright, thank you. Show this man. Alright, thank you. I arrested my case. Thank you. Let's hear from the plaintiff. The plaintiff has come already. I'm sorry. I the, think that you like my voice too much. I'm sorry, the defendant I meant to say. 
Please. <coughs> Your Honor. Yes. Nyago mesese ko nyago mesese yi. Ah. Bona. What? You can speak proverbs, but nobody else can speak a proverb. Please, what does it mean? Your Honor, it means an agreement is an agreement. Okay. Hey. <laughs> wow. Let's go. Your Honor, first and foremost, let your court record that uh, they had a contract that stated that she is paying a 9,000 up front and then 3,000 on completion of the whole work. Okay. Your Honor, there was an offer, there was an acceptance, and so it is a binding contract. There was no way in their contract that said during the process of the work, uh, she will come and be paying in installment. Please, I want you to do this for me. You said um, there was a contract, there was, there was a, an offer, there was an acceptance. Yes, sir. And the offer was that build a wall for me. Yes. And I'll give you so much. Yes, sir. He agreed. He agreed. And definitely the consideration in this was the money. Yes. So that is the contract. The contract was not a terms of payment. Your Honor, all of this contract that we are talking about was verbal. And so the agreement of the payment process was also a contract. They agreed how she was going to pay the rest of it? Your Honor, she said that she does not have money at that time. Okay. So she will pay 9000 uh -huh. and pay 3000 on completion. Okay. And they agreed. That's what she said. Yes, that's Please, what she said. Please, rise, rise. Objection, Your Honor. Yes. Your Honor, if I tell you that I will kill this man tomorrow, and I came this evening, he don't die. <laughs> he, he's dead. Your Honor, is my late queen. All die, be die. <laughs> if the woman say he'll pay you after this thing, and you have get money to pay you right now, the money is not money. It's money. When you take money, it's I understand. Take I, 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 tender. I understand. Thank tender. you. Thank yeah. you. Arise. Arise, oh no, my I, soul. I said rise. Rise. Was that the agreement that you pay him after? Was that what you told him, that you only pay the rest of it after the completion? After completion of the work, the wall, building of the wall. Is that it? Please, I told him that as at the time we agreed, yes. the only money on me was the 9000 We agreed to that part. Yes, and the other 3000 I told him I'll pay him before the contract ends. Okay. So, within so the now process, we have two contradicting statements. She says she said she will pay before the, con the, the building of the wall is complete. Your Honor, may I please ask a question? No, we are not there yet, but I just needed this before. So please, you can take your seat. Let's carry Thank on. You. Your Honor, let's Quickly, carry on. And I, I accept, and my client accepts that uh, after the breach of the contract that they had, uh, he broke down the wall. Which one was the breach? That she did not pay at the end of the contract. That was the agreement. So for paying before the... She did not pay before, Your Honor. So your, your, the point you're making is that she didn't pay him? No, she did not. So that is your... Yes, Your Honor. you done? Your Honor, I am not done. Harry. Your Honor, uh, our defense for the breaking down of the wall yes. is temporary insanity. Your Honor, the law of temporary insanity, according to the Constitution that both you and I work with, states that uh, in the case of a crime of passion, if the defendant is able to prove beyond all reasonable doubt that uh, he or she was briefly insane at the time the crime was committed and therefore incapable of knowing the nature of his or her alleged crime or act, the defendant can go free. Good. Your Honor, at the time that my client broke down the wall, he, he, he was boiling up with a lot of emotions. Okay. So at that time... Objection, Your Honor. Yes. Your Honor, when you go to Anchor for, they have a wall. They have more mad people than anywhere. How many times have we heard that the wall have lake? No time. Your Honor, that is why you I stick... more time, you break wall. <laughs> then if you mind the oh, what is this man saying? Then you can kill somebody. Objection, Your Honor. Then let's just let, let make your point. And then Thank you very much, Your Honor. Your Honor, imagine that you have toiled, 
you have worked. Hey, my client is a very hardworking man. He works uh, diligently. After he had promised his wife, a pregnant wife, uh, that uh, I finished work, I finished work by Friday. So by Friday, I'll get money to take care of you, take you to the hospital, provide everything that you need. Your Honor, you come, and this woman says that the little, little tips that she has been giving you whilst we're working, that you didn't even ask for, mm. that is what is payment for the work. After you already had a contract. Okay. Your Honor, my client, at that moment, uh, uh, Thought about all these things, the pregnant your honor. When I think about these things, my heart boils. Your honor, before this my heart boil, let me tell you something. Your honor, when my colleague was talk, he made a point. He said that his client is a destiny, responsible man, who tell the wife, pregnant, that Friday he gets money because he finished right. Your Honor, if you call this thing tip, you call something small drop of water, make a this thing mighty ocean. If the woman tip you, what they call tip, that's my kind of call tip. If you say the woman tip you 500, it tip you 300, it tip you 200, it tip you every day, it tip you ah, uh, that money. If you are a responsible man, what you do with that money? Because the woman tip you and you, have, you, you don't work to get that money. It, it, it's money you don't work to get, so you can spend it anyhow. You go and eat it by heart. Your own and you wait. Of and you come your and honor? get 3000 before you can take your wife to hospital. Oh, what are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? Let's, let's finish with his, okay? So if you have any questions, then we can do that, all right? Okay, all right. Your Honor. Before I finish, I would like to quote uh, uh, this uh, scripture from Deuteronomy, the chapter number 24, verse 14 and 15. It says, and I quote, You shall not oppress a hired servant who is poor and needy, whether he is one of your countrymen or an alien who is in your land, in your town. You shall give him his wages on his day before the sun sets. For he is poor and sets his heart on it, the money, so that he will not cry against you to the Lord and it becomes a sin unto you. Your Honor, let the court note that out of the 12,000 cities that the, the plaintiff paid for the building of the wall, only 2,000 was workmanship for my clients. The 10,000 was to buy materials and tools for the work. And so, uh, Your Honor, one of the things that I don't like at all in my life is when somebody uses a, a position of power to intimidate or take advantage of uh, somebody uh, uh, subordinate. I don't like it at all. It gets me uh, pumped up. Your Honor, let me also state uh, that my client is ready to rebuild the wall if the 3,000 is paid uh, to him. And so my client... Uh, if the 3,000 is paid, he's going to rebuild the wall? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. The materials, uh, some is still there. The blocks uh, and the everything, they are still there. Whose money was that? Materials from where? Leftover from... What it's not the... leftover. What he broke down, he can still use it to rebuild the wall. Okay, thank you. I rest my case, Your Honor. Good. Your Honor, a wise man once said, eat and let me eat. It's a nonsense. Please make your point. Quickly. Your Honor, this man, when the, my colleague was talking, last thing he said, he said, if my client gave him the defendant this thing, 3,000, he paid the word again. Your Honor, it makes me laugh. Because he already told the court that this man, that time when he break the wall, he mad. <laughs> so he break the thing mad. Mad is, you don't think, you break it by heart by heart. So, Your Honor, if you go and see the thing, in fact, he have break the thing. <laughs> <laughs> he have break, uh, even some of the thing, he tend to this thing, sign. Signed. Yeah. yeah. 
Your Honor, mm -hmm. that's why I tell you that that time the man lied to you. It's not the same this thing here Blake is going to use. He charged my client more. So the things he buy, some of the things are still there. He just come and pick all the things. Objection, Your Honor. Uh, we never lied to your honorable court. I am you never sure your honor how you lie. You are telling your honor you are not lying. You are accusing me of a, a crime in the court. Um, yeah. I, I think it's clear. Yes. It's clear. Do you have cross-examination? You, you, you I do. Let me, your honor, I have just two questions sir, for the plaintiff. If it's true, then ask first. Because I have more questions. Finish and let's go. Uh, Madam, may you please uh, rise up? Huh? Did you at any point in time Tell my client that you were going to pay, pay him in installments? No, we did not agree in the terms of payment. Okay. You want let the, to let the court note that she said no, she did not agree that she was going to pay in installments. No, she said they did not agree on terms of payment. Very good. You want to let me ask you again? Okay. Did you or did you not tell my client that now you have a 9,000 and when he finishes the work, you add up the 3,000? Please, I did not say that. What did you say? I told him I have 9,000 as at the time with me, and I'll pay the 3,000 before the contract ends. How were you going to pay it before the contract ends? By what means? We, how, how? By means of giving him money anytime I visit. Is that what you, you clearly stated this thing to him? That anytime you visit, you'll be giving him some? No, he also did not No, ask just me. answer me yes no. or no. Your Honor, she did not. Make my client aware that any time she visits, she's going to uh, pay in installments. Point well made. Thank you very much, Your Honor. I'm done. Okay. Okay, Your Honor. Please. Yes. Let me cross-examine this man. Please. You have a son or daughter? Yes, I have one daughter and one son. Have you paid their school fees before? Yes, I have. I've always been paying their school fees. By you? Yes. Very good. Please. Have you paid the school fees half some and then you come and pay some different, different times? Yes, sometimes I pay it in well, sometimes I pay it in installment, but I have agreement with the school. The school that my children go to, the, uh, they have a policy of paying your school fees in bulk, but I go to see the administration and tell them that I'll be paying it in installment, then they agree that I should pay it in installment. So sometimes I pay it in installment. Okay. So have you got to give the, 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 the this thing, school account time money? And he tell you that that money you are giving me is a tip before. Objection, your honor. The accountant never works for my clients. How can my clients go and give him tip? He works by taking care of the children. He's yes. part of the school. Your it's honor, he takes the school fees. Even my school, my, 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 just say my, 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 my child, when I go to pay the fees, I give the money maybe 10 CD or 5 CD. I so that at same time, when I come, I don't have money. You know me. Then you, you, then beautifully, you are concurring to what they are saying that. No. Even though after you after I pay the money, that time is when I give the man tip. So I make the man know that this one is tip. Oh, take this one and buy water. Oh, take this one and buy chewing gum. That one is tip. Oh, two of us. Yeah. Please let me ask the the. When my client give you the money, did she tell you that take this one and buy pure water or take this one and buy this thing? Yes, sometimes she does that. Sometimes she doesn't say anything. She will just give me the money. Very good. Your Honor, when a step, a step, that time is when my can say that, take this one and buy this. Objection, Your Honor. And he says uh, when it's a tip, the, the woman states that it's a tip. No, so the rest that said, did not no, state anything. I don't say that. He didn't say tip. He said, take this one and buy water for you and your children. The children who are, who are work. Okay, because then, then, the the, the, then there's, the, a, there's a notion that good. it's a tip. But, you say, as you say, sometimes you don't say anything. Maybe you come, you, you are work, uh, you say that, oh, your money, I've yeah. not paid you finish. And the man said, oh, yeah, then you count the money, maybe 500, then he okay. give you. All right. Your owner, then, who tip you 500 before? Your, your, say your that owner, the wall you are big, you are big to heaven. Wait, wait. You have your some... owner, let it be clear. That she never stated that she's paying the money, the 3,000 yes. in installments. That, nobody has said that. Thank you very much, Your Honor. Your Honor, even if you ask the people, some of the people here, they tell you that their children's school, they don't have any school fees, this thing. School fees. All they want is their money. They want to say school fees policy or something. 
If you go and you say that, oh, to the appeal this thing, they take the money. Tomorrow, when you come in, then you they take. This man, somebody give you money. Five, five, oh, oh, your honor. Why you think that? Even that time, what the man think is Black Mahat. That's a man thing that my, my friend did with. Can, we, can we be right? Five million. Can we, can we be concluding, please? Yeah. Please. Have you tipped anybody more than two million before? I'm not rich, so I can't tip that much. So my kind there, she is drunk. <laughs> so she can uh, your honor. Objection, your honor. This, this, this is this not going you are not making any I'm at all. Make a Sit, please. Have you? Your honor. Order. Sit, please. Don't let me do this. Don't let me call. Sit. Please, the two of you stand. You agreed on the... 9,000, that both of you agree, yes. that you agreed to give the first 9,000. But the contention is with the, um, the payment of the rest 3, of the 3,000. Now, did you ever tell him you were giving him this money as part payment to the 3,000? Yes. Of the 3,000? At a point in time, I asked him, that was the total, his money. I've paid him about half of it, about 1,005, and he agreed to it. After you had given him the t the uh, five hundred, two hundred. Objection, your honour. The woman I'm is not lying. To, I'm not talking to you. Please. Yes. Yes, I and asked him, and he was agreed. there ever an occasion where she told she asked you if she had paid that amount, and you agreed that there was no, there's nothing like that. She just gave me the money, and she we were talking. It was a joke. We were we were, we were making a joke, <laughs> and she was like, "How much have I given you so far?" And I was like, "So far, give me a thousand five. But it wasn't an agreement that it was the part payment of the money. So the man think that he have tip him thousand five. Are you? This is true that the man is mad before he break the wall. The man start long term, not the time he break the wall. Somebody have tip you a thousand five. The man is mad. I think that the man is mad. Now my sentence. You are giving somebody money and you decide not to be specific and emphatic that this is for this purpose. And you think the person should assume, and you think you assume that the person should know. And now you bring him here because he's broken your wall. And you are only fortunate that the lawyer, his lawyer could not prove beyond every reasonable doubt that the gentleman was insane. Your this, Honor, I... Uh, yes, it's... This could have been a cool chop for them. Next time, be clear in your dealings with anybody. I am doing this for this purpose. If there is a need to get a witness, get a witness. Young man, you come out smart everybody. If you spend the money without um, paying attention, you can come back and try to be smarter than all of us. And you tell me you thought you were playing, you were, it was a joke. How can you joke that somebody tips you 5,500? Why? You are the son or the brother-in-law even brother-in-law. <laughs> now listen to me. Next time, be careful. Next time, do the right thing. If possible, sign a contract. Next time, make sure that you are very clear that this is for this purpose. All right? All right. As for you, you can't take the law into your own hands. We have learned so much from this lately. And this is a behavior we cannot condone, that you go about and take the law into your own hands. One, you said you can build with a 3,000. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. She, I would lend him the 3,000 to rebuild the wall for you. Thank you. And after building the wall, I charge you with 10,000 Ghana cities as compensation to her for breaking her wall. But I know, looking at you, that it will be difficult for you to pay. So it's either she finds an assignment for you to execute to the tune of that money, or you go and spend some months in prison. Go and discuss amongst yourselves as lawyers, and let me know what you think. If you work for that, to that amount, or you go and spend some months in prison. I rule in the favor of the plaintiff. Hey! Say we, we.
Look at the mountains. The best quarters are jams. This is my collar. Asamenegon. This is my collar. Asamenegon. The only satiric you laugh and laugh. Asamenegon. This is my collar. Asamenegon. You kind of cult where everything goes. A kind of cult where everything goes. Oh, yeah.